the last uh, part of our lecture is uh, types of hemoglobin. Uh, we mentioned adult hemoglobin, uh, hemoglobin E1, uh, which is the major part of adult hemoglobin, uh, when we mentioned the function and structure of hemoglobin. Adult hemoglobin is one member of a functionally and structurally related family of hemoglobins proteins uh, in this schedule there is four types of hemoglobin adult hemoglobin which is the major part 90 percent it's formed of uh, four uh, uh, four polypeptide chain as a tetramer alpha 2 chain and beta 2 chain alpha 2 beta 2 this is the adult hemoglobin and the next type of hemoglobin minor hemoglobins which are present in a small percentage fetal hemoglobin it's alpha 2 gamma 2 and uh, adult 2 hemoglobin it's minor part about two percent it's alpha 2 delta 2 and uh, hemoglobin a1c it's the glycosylated hemoglobin alpha 2 beta 2 with glucose the minor hemoglobins which include fetal hemoglobin hemoglobin a2 and hemoglobin a1c Fetal hemoglobin is a tetramer formed of two alpha chain with two gamma chain. So it's alpha 2, gamma 2. It's the major hemoglobin in the fetal life and newborn. And after the eighth month of pregnancy, the bone marrow begin to produce hemoglobin A1 gradually that and replace the fetal hemoglobin. Fetal hemoglobin under the physiological conditions, you remember it caused shift to the left, have higher affinity for binding with oxygen more than hemoglobin A, the adult hemoglobin. Why? Because it's weakly bounded to 2 and 3 diphosphoglycerate. 2 and 3 diphosphoglycerate is a metabolite that causes right shift of the oxygen dissociation curve. It decreases the affinity of hemoglobin to bind with oxygen and increase release of oxygen from hemoglobin to the tissue. So when it binds loosely or weakly with the fetal hemoglobin, so fetal hemoglobin have higher affinity to bind with oxygen than adult hemoglobin. What is the importance of this? This will facilitate transfer of oxygen from the maternal blood, which contain adult hemoglobin, to the fetal blood, which contain, or the placental blood, which contain fetal hemoglobin, with higher affinity to bind with oxygen. The second type of minor hemoglobins is hemoglobin A2, which is formed of a tetramer of alpha 2 and delta 2 chains. It represents 2% of the total hemoglobin, and it's minor component of the adult hemoglobin, the normal. Hemoglobin A1c is the third type of minor hemoglobins. Under physiological condition, adult hemoglobin can slowly and non-enzymatically be glycosylated when glucose is bounded to valine of the beta globin chain. This will convert adult hemoglobin into hemoglobin A1c. The most abundant form of glycosylated hemoglobin is hemoglobin A1c, which will increase in the diabetic patients and used to assess 
uh, the control of diabetes we will study it and explain it in details in diabetes and this is the last of our lecture waiting for all your questions and waiting for you in our office hours next monday thank you